All right, so I'm going to talk about the Palmex Super Micro um, that I found at Goodwill. You can see. It says it's about time. There's supposed to be interchangeable cartridges. I believe there's only three or four games for it, though. Um, Advanced Computer Logic. This is from 1983. There was a light pack, which is what this is. Um, that provides light because the screen was so faint. They kind of added that after the fact. Supposedly challenges all age. It's 100% portable. Uh, skill levels, graphic sound, random game action. Um, and again, what was... This is about 1983-1984. And um, this one comes with... React Attack where you're trying to kind of go through a maze and f stop a nuclear reaction explosion. And, uh, again, I found this at Goodwill. I almost did not buy it. Um, it was kind of just sitting there um, amid some toys. I thought, well, this is just some kind of really, you know, lame organizer. But something made me pick it up, and as I looked at it, it was a little strange, and, and I thought, well, it's sort of like a super old DS or a microvision from uh, uh, Milton Bradley. And so I figured, well, let me look at it. And what I saw is that it's actually um, new. Um, it seems to be unused. I did open it originally, but I have not yet tried it out. I'm gonna do that right now. Um, so you're gonna see that there's the, uh, the directions. Pretty cool graphics. I have read the directions. I have some idea about the game but have not played it. Probably will have a hard time. Uh, there's a warranty card. And uh, then here's the actual item. So I'm going to open that up. And again, it was 397 on at Goodwill, so pretty good deal. The item's really rare. Um, from what I've seen, I barely saw it listed on eBay. Um, but it's one of those things that it's rare because there wasn't many, and because it's rare, there's not a heck of a lot of people who know about it, and there's not a heck of a lot of people who want it. Um, so, this is the item. You're gonna see it again, and I'm not super familiar with it, so you're gonna have to bear with me a little bit. Um, this back piece is, so again, by its, when I first opened it, I'm like, what is this? Um, and again, it's supposedly it's really fragile. So at first you see it and you don't think it's anything, but there you go. There is, uh, the screen. Oh, this is actually, I think, the light box. Um, yeah. So, again, you, it, I'm really, again, everything I've read about this is that it's cheap, boy Let me bring it closer to me so it's supposed to be really cheap break like anything so I'm trying to be super careful I opened it one time before okay there we go so I think that's yeah that's it's a weird kind of thing so here's the screen I don't know if you can see how well you can see that but it's got the sticker on it unique for PBS um, which is the portable, what the heck it's called, the, uh, I don't know what PBS means. For the best viewing, adjust the thumb wheel at the back of the console with the indicated range. So there's that, uh, small thing right there that you can do. Um, there's some helpful hints for the game itself. So again, with the sticker and everything, and it looks unused. Um, so I'm going to try to open it up. So there's that. So this one needs four batteries. Oh God. Uh, I'm not going to close the case. Something I read online says uh, that if you close the, the case on it this that it, the batteries can get jammed um, and so don't need to do that this this is the 
the light thing. I believe all that's in there are some lights, literally lights. Um, so, I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna put that in there again. I'm not gonna close that one either. So here goes nothing. I'm gonna see if this turns on, and I think it will turn on. switch just kind of popped in there like it was out and now it popped in like it pushed in so that can't be a good sign so I don't know how well you can you probably can't see but the button's not sticking out. Now, you can actually see. I'm gonna turn off the light. You can see that it's actually lit up. So it's on. So for the moment, I'm gonna leave it alone. Um, I'm gonna attach this. It is beveled. I'm going to remove the sticker, which I will save. All right, so I figured a few things out, I think. So first of all, this was the light box, and uh, again, it definitely works. So if I take the battery out, you can see that. So that's that. What I didn't realize is that the game was on top of it. So this is the react attack and I think I figured out how to turn it on as well so at the moment I'm not going to do the uh, thing I'm going to put this on which I had done before here we go turning it on oh boy wow all right so pressing level A and you can kind of see it here so, you can see right here, it says room one. There's a key. Over here it shows there's one minute left. Down here is a door. This is a door. This is a closet with that zero. I control the movement. That's me moving. So, so you kind of, it's, it's really weird. So there. So I seem to do. Now I'm in there and I'm pressing A. And I think I got boots. I don't know. So, I, so I'm in room one. About the only thing I've been able to do. Like, I don't think these cl these closets are lit up. So, I was able to... So, like, that lights up. I don't know why. So, I'm in there. And you can kind of see it changed. And now I'm in room 7. I think that's me coming in there like I went down. This thing turning around is the bad guy. Oh boy. But I haven't been able, so I gotta go in the closet. Press A. And it seems like I get another a three actually. What's a three? I think that's the key number. Um, let's see, locked doors, numbered keys, so I don't know, I don't know. So I haven't really been able, so, so there's that. And so I can't get through here, and I haven't been able to figure this out. You can see the 
that the time is working. It really is hard to see, but I'm at 13 minutes. This is real time, so if I sit here for 15 minutes, I'll lose. Um, so when I do this pad, it's switched to four. Let's see if that works. No. This is the boot? No. Oh, all right, so now I got to get in this closet without this dude getting me. All right. I guess I got something. I guess I got to get out of here now. Oh, yeah, so I went to room three. And again, they, they look the same, but they're not. And if I press C, my score comes up. I got 12. Oh. I don't know what all those... Oh, shit. I got back to room one. So I'm, it's obviously confusing, but it works. And I'm still trying to get a hold of what's going on. Um, so I got hit by that dude. I got sent back to room one. So it, it works. And I'm trying to figure it out. Um... It, uh, it's again a little peculiar, and, uh, but, like I said, it's, it's, uh, complete, got all the different things, the stickers and stuff, and, uh, and again, it's, it's just funny, it says, Real Attack, I don't know how well you can read this here, Real Attack is the most sophisticated game ever made in a palm-sized format. Reading all the instructions carefully is important, or at least the first 15 instructions. So I'm still figuring it out, but, um, you know, inbox, new, essentially, and uh, pretty cool. Uh, so thanks for, thanks for watching this, and uh, have a good one.